a million dollars a year. About 80 million bucks in the bank to earn a million dollars a year. In real estate, what do you have to have? We're talking to a real estate expert in the back. About, if you had a $30 million apartment complex, you could make about $100,000 a month if it was paid off. If it was owned free and clear. That's what I have. And you know how I built it? With work, with effort, with developing skills. There's no secrets. It's just hard work. Now, benefits of what I do versus anything else in the world. You small, how many people in this room are small business owners? I am so sorry for you. Because it's so painful to do what you do. To take all the risk. To be there before anybody else shows up. To be there after everybody leaves. To pay everybody else first. Personal guaranteeing your whole life and nobody cares. Getting paid less per hour than anybody that you employ. For what? For the dream of being able to turn the corner and have something. Most of you, you are the business. Very few of you have even, even something saleable. You're the business because you know what? You're an entrepreneur. If it is to be, it's up to me. I'm going to make it happen. Watch my smoke, right? But at the end of the year, you kind of go through this limp through this cash flow existence. Now, I commend you because 70% of the, of the millionaires in the United States are business owners. So you got to get to a business owner place, right? Now, 70% of bankruptcies, guess where they come from? Business owners, because they take all the risk. So I already commend you because you're trying to unplug from the matrix. I get it. I'm just telling you that there's a better way. There's a better way than traditional business ownership. Give me five people who, who started your own business before, please. Or raise your hand if you started your own business. How much did you invest to start it? 10,000? 10, 400. 400,000? 10, 400 dollars? 10,000. 10, My first business is about $20. My last business is about 200,000. 20 and 200, okay. In the back? Who spent more than $100,000 to start a business in the room? Okay, you see, the, who spent more than $10,000 to start a business in the room? Okay, you kind of get an idea, right? But those business owners know this, spending the upfront money is only the beginning. That just starts the meter on the taxi cab. And then the personal guarantees come in, and then the work comes in, and then the employees come in, and then the inventory comes in. And if the economy goes down, where, how many people have really enjoyed your bailout when the economy went down? <laughs> Nobody? Nobody sent you a check? That's shocking. Nobody bails us out, do they? Business owners, we're on our own, people. Here's what I'm telling you. The network marketing business, not only for you, but for every person that you know is the best business vehicle for an average person to be able to start and be able to create real wealth if you're willing to work. I'm not here pitching a product. I'm here telling you there's a better way than what you're currently bought. What you bought is what was being sold to you, but I'm telling you there's a better way. And the better way is to be able to join a network marketing company where infrastructure is taken care of for you. All the hassles are taken care of for you. All you have to do is bring your passion, bring your leadership, develop some skills. For a thousand dollars or you know around that on average sometimes less you can join a company and start building something and guess what you don't have to walk away from that job that already owns you love it. a bunch of you love to walk away from your job you don't have a choice you're already personal guaranteed in you can't walk away this will give you an option to create a plan B for a year from now you've got choices entrepreneurs in the room my message a couple things number one get small Every one of you in this room, get tiny, get small, Head, cut your expenses and then cut them again and cut them again and cut them again. If you can't afford the house that you're in right now, get out of it. If you can't afford the car that you're in right now, get out of it. Get small because only by being small do you have options. Do you have the ability to move? 
do you have freedom? You can build big, but there's more desolation in this world today from people who are holding on to yesterday's expenses that they don't have today's income. So number one, get small. Number two, pick a network marketing vehicle. Pick something that can allow you to have a plan B. Because I, here's what I know about everybody in this room. You're all leaders of some sort. You wouldn't be here. Unless there's a few followers that got dragged here by a leader. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. But a few, most of your leaders. And that's all you have to be. What I tell people every day of my life is you can do it. And I tell people every day of my life, you have it in you. And I tell people every day of my life, here are some skills that will be help you develop yourself. Here's how you can transfer your belief to others. Here's how you can lift up other people. Here's, you don't have to minimize other people's opportunity in order to maximize yours. You know what most of the business opportunities in the world today have in common? They are capitalizing on other people's pain. And if that's the business you want to get in, go for it. To buy that piece of real estate that somebody had their whole life in, and you get to maximize it, the, their pain, and, and, and maximize your opportunity because of it. Fine. Take advantage of whatever opportunities you want to take advantage of. I'm not saying you're taking advantage of those people by doing it. Or whatever it is out there, what you'll find, the common denominator of everything you're going to hear this weekend, in my opinion, is based upon capitalizing on the moment and maximizing their pain. Profiting from it. their bad situation. Okay? Not all. I haven't heard any of them. I don't even know what's on the lineup. So I'm not emotionally invested in anybody's particular direction. You know what I do every day? I only get paid based upon other people's successes. So we're connected in a completely different way. So if you believe in that worldwide connection, if you believe we're all in this together, and you can reach out to somebody and show them that we have a better way, and they can have a better way, and they don't have to feel this desperate situation that they might be in right now, this is the place you can be. Tell them. You know what I do for a living? I rescue people from desperate lives. That's what I do. I just find out what's going on in their life and I show them a path where they didn't see a path before. Where they can create something special for themselves. That's what excites me every day. That's why I get up every day. I got up today excited, saying, you know what? I'm not going to be connected to any of these people, really. But I know that they're all heroes in their own way because they're here on a Friday. The difference between you guys that are here today and the ones that are here tomorrow, you guys are five times more likely to succeed. Because tomorrow's easy. You don't have to get off work tomorrow. Today, you have to make some decisions. It's different. That's what I love about this type of a group. Now I want to tell you a story and then I'm done. Before I tell the story. I just want to say there are a number of very solid network marketing companies that you can choose from. I'm involved in the profession, so I'm invested, obviously. Lisa and I are working together. Um, so I believe in that, and I've, I've been around the profession for 20 years, 20 plus years, unfortunately. But, um, but pick one. Find one that you believe in. Find one that's a member of the Direct Selling Association. Find one that has a product that you believe in. Find one that you feel like you can ride into the sunset. Don't you fall into the trap of the money games and the free money and shortcuts and all that baloney. Timing and positioning and get on the ground floor. They don't tell you about the basement. <laughs> Find something you can take to the house. And then you can really, really make something special. 